This is your last chance. After this, there is no turning back. You take the blue pill, the story ends. You wake up in your bed and believe whatever you want to believe. You take the red pill, you stay in Wonderland, and I show you how deep the rabbit hole goes. Hello, uh, everyone. Uh, I'm heading out to uh, Cinnaboyne Forest. I'm uh, going to do a, a day hike. And uh, so it'll take me uh, probably a couple hours to, to do that. Uh, it's a nice urban forest. Uh, it's very uh, considered uh, easy in terms of uh, difficulty. So uh, there'll be a lot of people out there today, I'm sure. It's, uh, the weather is minus 7 uh, degrees Celsius. Uh, which is about uh, 7 degrees uh, Fahrenheit. Uh, they have multiple trails out there. They have the Eve Wearier, uh, Eve Wearier uh, Memorial Duck Pond Trail. Uh, they also have the uh, Aspen Trail, Saguenay Trail, and Preston Trails out there. So uh, if there's quite a few uh, trails out in that area. It's kind of an Aps Aspen forest. And... Uh, also, tall grass prairie is in there. Is some wetlands, and uh, it's just uh, just a beautiful area to uh, uh, to get out for the day, which I need uh, to do. It's uh, Sunday. Uh, I have to get back to work tomorrow, and uh, so it's always kind of good to get uh, get a little uh, trail time in. So, as I was saying, uh, Cinnaboyne Forest is uh, an urban forest and uh, actually there's quite a few deer in the area throughout and they do have a duck pond here and uh, tall grass prairie a lot of wildlife it's very nice for uh, uh, a trip during the day you can do some uh, skiing as well cross-country skiing bench areas to uh, rest your weary bones so Cinnaboyne Forest is run by the Charleswood Rotary Club. So it's a, kind of a non-profit, I would think. And uh, looks uh, well-kept. Trails are well-groomed. Nice place to take uh, your honey, your family, your dog for a walk. Someone's built a shelter in here which is kind of nice kind of a warm-up area a little teepee I don't know how well that would keep you warm but it's kind of cool we're off on a, a side trail kind of getting away from all of the other traffic uh, don't get me wrong I, I love people being around people but it's also nice to be able to kind of uh, get into uh, an area not as well traveled. This is, uh, it's all color coded. So the Preston Trail is in, let's see if I uh, can get this, line this up better, maybe shadow it. Uh, Preston uh, Trail is in blue, Traverse is in yellow, uh, there's the Aspen Trail in orange, and then uh, I guess the Eve Wearier Trail uh, is in goes around this uh, duck pond. So in terms of the, uh, the plant uh, and trees, plant life and trees, uh, there's a lot of trembling aspen, uh, poplar, uh, a lot of scrub oak in here as well. Uh, it start, seems to be in some spots uh, receding to uh, kind of a mix of uh, uh, either uh, white black spruce in here uh, as the forest gets older, but 
ever since I can remember, you know, going back at least 30 years, uh, hasn't been much change here. But it is, uh, again, a nice, great, uh, or nice place to come for a hike. As you can see here, it's uh, well used. It's a well used trail. As you can see, all those people coming towards me. I've decided to take a, another side trail going, uh, I guess, south uh, towards the the sun there, which is very beautiful. It's a very clear day, very warm day for January or the end of January for uh, this area of the uh, of the province. Yeah, I thought I'd uh, mention uh, every year, come uh, spring uh, into early summer. Uh, I have quite a, a forested property and the squirrels can sometimes uh, wreak havoc on my cedars and my evergreens. So what I'll do is I'll uh, trap them, uh, not hurt them. I use a have a heart trap, uh, trap them humanely. And I bring them here to uh, Assiniboine Forest where I'm sure they're uh, happy. I'm hoping they're happy. Here again, we have some kind of uh, shelter. Uh, it's built by, I assume it's uh, with the uh, approval of the uh, Charleswood uh, Rotary Club. So this uh, trail does eventually connect to the uh, Hart Trail. So I could go from here and I could walk all the way to my uh, house, uh, which is probably about five miles away at this point. So we're coming up on the Hart Trail uh, that uh, backs the Assiniboine Forest and uh, a trail that I actually will walk on on a daily basis. Usually don't come this far east but uh, it's an old railway bed, the Grand Trunk, tra uh, tr uh, Grand Trunk uh, tracks. Our train used to run down here, and uh, it's a very beautiful trail as well. Okay, we're uh, coming up on the E. Weirier Memorial Duck Pond. That's kind of cool. It almost looks like an airplane wing. And this is, uh, I should uh, remind the viewers, is a flight way for the uh, uh, Richardson International Airport. So a lot of overflights here. When I was uh, many years ago, at least 30 years ago, uh, we actually, when I was working with uh, the Insect Control Branch of Municipal Government here in uh, Manitoba, Winnipeg, uh, we introduced fathead minnows. We're actually we were trapping fathead minnows from here and introducing them into uh, retention ponds throughout the uh, Winnipeg area. Should mention that uh, when we did trap those uh, fathead minnows, uh, I guess the reason behind it or the reason for it was that uh, they're voracious uh, consumers of mosquito larvae. So. That is the reason we were doing that. There we have it. Uh, that's that's the Cinnaboyne Forest, uh, and uh, we went into the E. Weirer Duck Pond. We were on uh, a multitude of trails in there. Not exactly sure how uh, many uh, kilometers or miles that we did today, uh, but uh, I'm uh, well. Not I could still probably uh, uh, do do a little more out there, but a lot of people on the trail which is to be expected. Uh, it's, uh, there's been a resurgence of uh, interest in hiking. So I can see that extending uh, to the, uh, the AT, the Appalachian Trail, when I leave in uh, 
February, February of 2021, uh, 20, 2022. Sorry. And uh, so uh, thank you uh, for following along and uh, we'll see you next time. Thank you. Thank you.